everyone, welcome back to Abstract Boss. My name is Ashley and today I am going to walk you through a vanity refurbish. I snagged this vanity for 25 bucks and redid the whole thing and made my own countertop for it. And then I put it at my booth at the mall. So I'm gonna walk you through the whole process and let's get started. picked up this vanity on Marketplace for 25 bucks. So I was extremely excited to dive into this and refurbish it and create a countertop for it. It actually did not come with a countertop. It was just the bottom part of the vanity. And um, so I'm gonna walk you guys through the process of what I did. So first off, you gotta take off all the drawers and everything and you definitely need to sand and wipe and clean all this disastrous, nasty mess that was inside. It was disgusting. There was a couple liners in there that was um, so moldy. I had to totally throw that out. Um, but that's what you get when you buy things cheap. And I really liked the color of the doors. So I decided to keep that and just sort of distress them a little bit with the sander. And I initially thought that I was going to keep the white on the drawers as well, but I did not like that. So I took one of these doors to Home Depot and they did a color match for me. And then I painted on those drawers as well and then got brand new knobs for all of them. And then I sealed them all with a nice clear varnish. After the paint dried, I went and took the quick seal and I caulked the entire like creases and everything that just sort of stood out and made it look um, like it was separating. And I wanted to make sure that everything was sealed properly so that way there wouldn't be any issues. After I utilized the caulking, I went ahead and relined because the white looks great, but I thought a liner would look even better. And I did put a removable liner on the inside. So that way, if someone decided that they didn't like that liner, they can just pop them right out. After I was done with all the liners, I went ahead and reattached all the doors. They did have um, a magnet in a different place on each one of them, so we knew which door went to which. The fourth door, though, actually had issues closing. It was warped, so I ended up, um, I guess, re-warping it slowly over a period of the next four to five days by placing a gallon of resin on one corner, and then I put a quart of resin on the corner that needed to go down so that way it would just slowly warp back over time and it did a pretty good job it still has a slight warp in it but it's not enough that makes it noticeable um, it's just something that because I knew it was there I can see it so it looks fantastic now Now that I'm done with the whole refurbished part of the vanity, I'm gonna go ahead and do the pour on top. The first pour that I did, my dad wanted me to use the green or the teal or whatever color you wanna call it from the front, from those doors and the drawers that I had matched at Home Depot. And as soon as I mixed it into the resin, it turned it into a Crayola green. It, it looked so horrible and so I liked the lines initially, but I didn't like the color. And so I just kept messing with it to try to do something that I would like to it and nothing was working. So I just decided to practice and do different techniques. So that way I could kind of figure out and see what happens to the resin um, and just kind of make it a mad scientist day because I knew I was going to cover it up anyways. I hated that green. It didn't match. It didn't look good. So then what I decided was I was going to go with the white still and then I was going to do um, gray lines with just a hint of a teal that I made up on my own with um, a combination of two colors from the faux rizzle. And 
The white is also from the faux rizzle. So I'll make sure to put exactly which colors in the description below. And you can use my code BOSS to save 15% when you go and get products from them. The resin that I'm using is their Nouveau. It is fan freaking tastic. I love it. It's personally one of my favorites because it cures so hard and you can use it for countertops, obviously, not just art. So it's fantastic. Now, when I did the next pour on top, I started out with the white, I spread that around, and then I laid out my initial lines with the gray. Now, here's where the marbling and the blending are so important, which I will do a closer video of this on a sample board later in the future because this has been such a popular design and I know that a lot of people were wondering exactly how I did it. So I'll absolutely share that with you guys. Um, just give me some time so I can create that video for you. And the biggest thing though is use your hands don't try to blend it with anything else personally for me i have found that blending with my hands just works so much better because you can control it easier so after i laid out my lines i just went and blended it with my hands by taking just the outside edge and just sort of bringing that into the white and then i added a couple lines in the white space that i didn't like so i blended those as much as i possibly could into that white space and it looked amazing. It gave it that perfect amount of balance and accenting and kind of took away some of that negative space by just accenting, accenting it very nicely. A spray paint that I got from Home Depot is a cool color. I recommend going with the matte colors, not the glossy. And then I sprayed it on the stick on the side and then just drug that through the lines. And then after I drug that through the lines, I went ahead and used a heat gun to sort of blow it all out. And I'm gonna do a close up of how I'm utilizing the heat gun. So here's what the countertop looks like now that the design is fully finished. And here's a picture of what it looks like all together and my booth setup at the mall. That's it for today, everybody. I hope you had a fantastic day. Let me know what you thought of this countertop project, the vanity refurbish. I thought it looked amazing. I love the distressed wood look of it all. It kind of gave me total beachy vibes without actually having to do something that was specific beach, um, which I love because there's a lot of that out there right now. So I'm glad to have something that's slightly different and a new approach to it. So let me know what you guys think of this project in the comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll catch y'all next time. Have a great day, everyone.